Two radii of a circle form an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is a triangle where two of the sides have equal length, like this. An isosceles triangle also has two equal angles at the base. The two radio theorem is a rule that tells us that any triangle made from two radio of a circle is an isosceles triangle. In this case, the triangle is formed from two radio OA and OB, plus the chord AB. If we use different radio, the shape of the triangle changes, but it is always an isosceles triangle. The proof of this theorem is fairly straightforward and obvious. A radius of the circle is aligned from the centre O to the circumference. Every radius has the same length, R. The triangle OAB, where A and B are on the circumference of the circle, has sides OA and OB that are both radii of the circle. This means that the two sides of the triangle have equal length. That is an isosceles triangle by definition. Also remember that this means that the two angles at the base of the triangle are equal. This is often a very useful fact. Here is an example. The triangle OAB is formed by two radii. We know the angle at B and we wish to find the angle at A, which we will call X. We will use the fact that OAB is an isosceles triangle. This means that the angle at B is equal to the angle at A. We know the angle at B is 50 degrees. So X, the angle at A, must also be 50 degrees. In this second example, we know the angle at the centre, O. We want to find the angle at B, which we will call angle Y. Once again, we will use the fact that OAB is an isosceles triangle. We know that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, so O plus A plus B is 180. Since it is an isosceles triangle, we also know that A and B are equal, and are both equal to Y and we have been told that the angle at O is 100 degrees. Substituting these values gives Y plus Y plus 100 equals 180. Rearranging gives 2Y equals 80, so angle Y is 40 degrees. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or visit graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.